What would be a high level overview of setting up the environment for testing mobile malware? For me, there are like two approaches. I don't use VMs. I directly analyze apps or malware on my desktop or workstation. I use Windows because some Android malware cannot actually harm your Windows desktop machine and the VMs slow, running VMs slow down your PC. Uh, I prefer using real devices, real Android devices, um, but if I need different ROMs or custom ROMs for particular um, cases, I use um, a Genymotion or a Kimo, which is the default emulator that comes with an Android, uh, Android Studio. So that's the first approach analyzing malware or apps on, on desktop. And that's the, and the other one is using VM. I have been using um, custom VM called Mobaxler. It's okay. a mobile um, a VM based on Ubuntu, where you have already set up static dynamic tools like Burp. Um, I think in an objection, there is a Frida, everything is set up. Uh, and you can use that Mobaxler with uh, Genymotion. This is the best way. There are even tutorials on their website, how to set it up, it's really fast. And it worked like a charm in my class. No one had any problem with the Mobexler and the Jenny motion. So this is a really great case. You, you can put it on your USB stick and carry that on your keychain and you have your environment for mobile app analysis um, on your keychain. Let's say you're not an analyzing uh, malware, but you're actually analyzing an application as part of a bug bounty program or stuff like that. So you're actually doing mobile application testing. What would you actually do if you are in the situation that you need an up-to-date operating system and you have a device that's a lower end device that doesn't support that? In that situation, I will definitely use an emulator. Um, as I mentioned, the Kimo or the Jenny Motion, I have, um, I think it's really one of the best, in my opinion. It works with, with everything. You can download um, uh, custom or stock ROMs, whatever the latest version you actually need. Um, it works like a charm. It's already pre-rooted, or you can root it. You can uh, um, use ARM uh, dependencies, not only Intel. Yeah. It's really important when you want to test the, the, the apps. Uh, so I would go with um, using emulator. Jenny Motion is the, the number one. Level up your skills in bug bounty hunting and penetration testing with my course, Recon in Cybersecurity, and master the fascinating world of reconnaissance. Link below. What percentage of the cases is, uh, or can you work with uh, the testing device versus uh, versus the emulator? I mean, are you able to work like with the device in the majority of cases? When testing malware, yes, I can do um, in the majority of cases with a, a real device. I prefer doing with the real devices. It's much better. Sometimes it happened in the past, a couple of years ago, I had some issues. Maybe these issues are already fixed. I've not been using emulators really frequently. Um, as an everyday job for testing these apps. So maybe they're more stable, there are less issues. For example, Mal Malware has some anti-emulator techniques, so it would not run. Then you have to do something if you want to analyze the app, either, for example, use Frida to bypass these checks or use a different device. Can you, can you bypass the anti-malware checks with Frida? You can bypass these checks uh, the same, uh, this, the same way as you can bypass like SSL pinning for the for the real applications. The practicality of using a testing device would be that it uh, it might be much faster, and it's a real environment compared to let's say for example an emulator which might demand more resources on that perspective. So there might be advantages and disadvantages over both, which is why you should be actually choosing context dependent.